Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. This video is on the startup, taxi, and takeoff of the F5V Tiger in DCS World. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit of the F5. The first thing we need to do is turn on the battery and then the left and right generators. Now we need to contact the ground crew and ask for the ground air supply to be connected. Connect air supply. Once that's connected, we're going to apply it and start up the left Copy. engine. And then we'll apply ground it again and start the right engine. So, ground air supply, apply. apply ground air supply. This is going to start building up the Copy. RPM in the left engine. There we go. So we need to come over to the left hand side, the left engine start, press on the button for a few seconds. And then we're going to bring the left engine out of the idle position. It's going to start getting a bit louder. If you look up, check the RPM that's going to build. It'll spike and then it'll hold somewhere near the 50%. <coughs> Excuse me. Once that's done, we're going to repeat the same process. So backslash F8, F5. So we're going to get the ground air supply. Once that is stable, and we're going to apply it again and do the same process for the right engine. Copy. Air is now applied. So we're going to press and hold the right engine start a couple of seconds and then bring the right engine out of idle. And I'm going to lock my controls together. So while that right engine's spilling up, I'm going to do a few things here. I'm going to turn on the left and right boost pumps. I'm going to put the auto balance to left low because you can see the left hand tank is lower than the right. Balance it to left low. When it'll start draining from the right first, when it gets to even, that'll turn off to auto and then it'll drain at the same rate. Shut the canopy by clicking the handle and then turn on your oxygen. To turn on UHF radio, little dial at the front, right click it once to main. Come to the left hand side, we're going to turn on the pitch and yaw dampers. Put chaff and flare to single and then we're going to put the radar to standby. I'll cover the radar in another video. That's it pretty much started up. Turn off the caution lights. Now, if we wanted a center line fuel tank, get the ground crew to add them in. So fuel tanks, I'll put a 275 on. To then have the aircraft Copy. drain fuel from that center line tank, we need to turn on the external fuel tank here. If it was a wing tank, you would turn on the pylon. If it's just the center line, you turn on this external fuel here. That's going to drain from the fuel tank first, and then we can jetson it. Again, I'll cover all that in another video, but we can selective jetson it once it has been drained. So while we're waiting on that tank, we're going to recage the or uncage the altimeter, uncage the standby trim knob, pitch trim even, <laughs> the SAI. Okay, tank is on, so I'll turn on that. That allows fuel to be taken from that tank. Now to taxi, it's very easy. You just use your rudder pedals with the nose wheel steering button. Now you need to press and hold the nose wheel steering while you make those turns. When you release it, it'll go back to center. So I'll taxi forwards. I'm going to be going left, so I'm going to press and hold now. And then start turning that nose wheel. You can taxi it quite fast. It's very stable, unlike the F-16. There's only a couple of more things we need to worry about before we actually get airborne. I'll cover them as we get closer to the runway. So I don't need to speak to air traffic now, so F-12 to exit. So we'll roll on to the runway and then I'm going to put the brakes on. I'm not worried about air traffic procedures, etc. This is the start up taxi and take off. All those procedures will be covered in different videos. So, we're going to get onto the runway. Let it roll forward a few meters to make sure we are fairly straight. And then brakes on. Now, the trim here, because we have a center line tank on, we're going to put, trim this so it nose up to about six degrees. So, I'll keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming there. That's about six. 
Now outside, you can see that the aircraft's sitting fairly flat towards the runway to give us a better chance for takeoff or more assistance on takeoff. We're going to extend the nose strut, and this raises the aircraft another three degrees angle of attack, which is going to make it nice and easy. Now, for the takeoff roll, we're just going to build the power up to about 100, just gently rolling those throttles forward while we're standing on the brakes. Still standing on the brakes, checking all the temps, nothing's going mad. Passing 95, so we're going to come brakes off and just continue to slowly throttle up. We're going to come a little bit of left rudder there to stay centre line. Afterburners kicked in. We're going to take off at about 165 knots, so certainly pull back gently on the stick. When it gets about 165, so there's 160. Pulling back gently. And we're airborne. Gear comes up. Nothing too, nothing too much of a, a climb. And that is the takeoff complete of the F5. Now, if we want to, at this point, turn on our radar warning receiver, you press the power button, and then you're going to press search. And then slowly that's going to start bringing everything in. And now we turn on our radar to operational. It's at 40 miles. I'll cover this in the air-to-air -air tutorial. That's us taking off. Easy peasy. It's a very simple jet to get to grips with to take off, and it's very effective uh, as a light fighter. And I'll discuss that all in another video. That was the startup taxi and takeoff video for the F5 Tiger. I'd like to thank everyone again that was involved for the charity video. I will be releasing a, a proper thank you soon. It's taken some time to get the uh, best bits put together. If you've liked the video, uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Until the next time, Tactical Pascal, out!